Y'all agree with that? Okay. Now let x go to 1. And what do you get? Let x go to 1. 1 times 1 plus 1 over negative 1, negative 2. The slope of the tangent line is negative 2. Any questions? We're going to do the second limit definition. I'm going to show you the picture and I'm going to let you all go. We'll probably finish a little early today. All right? So that was the first definition. Now let's use the second one. The second definition, I'll just write it down because it's way up there. Limit h goes to 0. f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So that's the definition we're going to use instead. If we're using this definition, though, for our tangent, the difference in this definition is in the previous one, we replaced a with 1, didn't we? a with 1. In this one, you replace x with 1. So I'm going to let x be 1, right? So let's write down limit h goes to 0. Then it becomes f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 all over h. So I think the key to this problem is remembering that in the previous one, we let a be the 1, and we left x alone. In this formula, you replace the x with the 1 and leave the h alone. I think on the right side over here, I'm going to write down what the function was because I kind of forgot. Wasn't it uh, x minus x cubed? Okay. So what would, what would this first part be? What is f of 1 plus h? What would you get if you plug 1 plus h into that function over there? It's going to be ugly. Yep, 1 plus h minus 1 plus h cubed. all over. Oh, wait, I forgot something. That's just the first part. Minus f of 1. But we already know what f of 1 is, right? What's f of 1? 0. All divided by h, right? Questions? All right, so all I'm doing in this next line is I'm getting rid of that blue stuff over here, and I'm going to do my 1 plus h, just drop the parentheses. And I think I'm just going to expand the 1 plus h cubed. That means I'm going to do 1 plus h times 1 plus h times 1 plus h, and I'll even use like Pascal's triangle to do it. Um, but I'm going to do it all in my head. So 1 plus h plus, oh, whoa, no, forgot something. 1 plus 3h plus 3h squared plus h cubed. That's what that would turn out to be if you expanded it. Do you all believe that? And notice I left that minus sign in front of everything in parentheses because I have to distribute that minus through. Go ahead. I'll let you try and clean that up a little bit.
なあ
Oh, yeah, let me put the homework up there. Sorry. It's in the video, but I, 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 there's no guarantee you'll find it. Um, if you, but you, if you want to go, you can, if you've got this. This is what you're supposed to do for next class. So, uh, that's, yeah, that's what I would expect. I don't, there's no changes in that. That's good. Just some of the lessons.